Uh, God's own country. See, the point is that the Kerala is being described as uh, God's own country today. The question is, who is the God? And who is the country? You know, who defined it as God's own country? The tourism business. The tourism industry, some ad agency gave the caption God's own country and now it has become a slogan to describe Kerala. Uh, Kerala doesn't have any industry, very little industry. Kerala doesn't have any agriculture. It has to depend upon Tamil Nadu and Andhra for every basic food item, even for beef or chicken. Uh, it has to depend upon uh, 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 rest of the states. Kerala is extremely dependent upon ec economy. You know, Kerala is uh, uh, around 33 percent income comes from people who work in Gulf. Uh, Kerala's uh, rest of this uh, income come from uh, those who work abroad, in the United States, in Canada, uh, and other places. And the rest, uh, people who send money in work in Bombay, Delhi, and other places, so send money. So, m more or less 50 percent of Kerala's economy is maintained by people who work outside. Kerala, because they had some uh, literacy and all that. The, what they produced uh, was they sent slightly literate and educated uh, labor outside. That was the industry. And uh, so that was the resource. Kerala had traditional industries like fire, uh, um, uh, rubber, uh, coffee, tea and other spices and around fish and around it traditional industries like that, you know. These eight in the, in the traditional industries will be completely wiped out by the economic deals which are coming up in globalization. The ASEAN deal itself is getting wiped out, they will wipe out all this. There are some industrial pockets uh, in Palkhad and uh, Ernakulam, some small industrial pockets and all that. And Ernakulam has, uh, in Kalamashiri is around uh, over 200 industries. So, uh, and Palkhad also some but the, those are more recent and uh, uh, cannot be compared with uh, the industries in Tamil Nadu or Gujarat or uh, Bengal or anything like that. You know. So the, the uh, main thing is that this is the situation. It is there the tourism industry was coming in. Tourism industry made the caption God's own country. You know, it wiped out uh, uh, the fisher people's land in a major scale. You know. If you look at, uh, there are 590 kilometers of Kerala's coastal line. In 590 kilometers uh, of coastal line, uh, two-third of uh, coastal line is already, two-third of the coastal line, uh, okay, you know, uh, 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 two-third of the coastal line is already uh, walled. Sea wall. Sea wall means they don't construct a wall, but they put stones. You know, and stones. Uh, uh, there's a big, huge racket. You know, between bureaucracy and the control uh, and the contractors. You put a lot of stones, saying that sea is invading. The two reasons: one is climate change, and the other uh, mining, sand mining. Both uh, contribute to invasion of the sea. And so many uh, every year, the invasion of the sea is affecting the fish folk in a major way. You know, I interviewed a, a, a fisherman uh, who said, you know, uh, some, some of the activists feel bad that so many houses were destroyed by the sea invasion. I interviewed a fisherman who said, let the sea come up to uh, uh, Shavarimalai. We'll uh, fish in front of the uh, Shavarimalai. What are you going to do? You know, the plains people. The reason is this, Kutunad, which is the tourism center of God's own country, which is projected, you know. Uh, the distance between, Kutunad is under sea level, you know. Kutunad has been rice bed of Kerala, now the, the cultivation is all destroyed by M.S. Swaminathan's uh, Green Revolution, you know. 
Now, and the same Mr. Swaminathan was uh, invited both by the left uh, government as well as the right government to find solutions for the uh, Kutunad uh, agricultural crisis. You know? And he has given some stupid solutions now. You know? Now he is pretending to be an environmentalist also. You know? uh, uh, the thing is also that uh, uh, certain places, uh, the distance between uh, backwaters and uh, the sea Backwaters are like this and the sea is like this, you know, and uh, uh, it's only few meters. Sea rises a li little bit more because of uh, climate change or uh, backwaters or uh, the, uh, sand mining or something. The whole Kutunad will be under water, which means Kerala will be two islands, you know, that's, that's a, uh, and not just uh, Kutunad, the other places also like that, where Kerala can be after climate change many islands. Kerala, Indonesia has not looked into this issue at all. But it, the, the rise of sea level has been recorded by the official departments every year. And this is a fact, you know. And uh, fisher people also know that uh, every year the, the destruction of the sea by on their families, on their houses, so they are increasing. You know? uh, I can tell you a small example is that I and Sharath showed uh, my film and his film in uh, Koilandi in one place in the beach you know that place is now no longer there it's all washed out it's in sea now you know in that place when I went much later uh, they said there were four roads parallel to the sea one road like this and the sea invaded then they constructed another road that has got in invaded by sea all coconut trees, houses, everything was getting involved. Then they constructed another road. They cut, then it, now the fourth road they constructed. No? So sea has invaded already. The Kerala Indonesia or the academics or the activist world has not responded to, to this issue at all. No? I have talked in many platforms on this issue but still uh, nothing has happened. The other point is that uh, 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 climate change uh, fisher people uh, are first affected, then uh, Dalits are affected, Adivasi are stakeholders, farmers are affected in a major way, but Kerala Indonesia or academics are not understood Kerala's uh, climate change problem or sand mining problem at all, how uh, fisher people are suffering and local people are suffering in a major, major way. Now in God's own country, of this 590 kilometers, two thirds of the uh, uh, places uh, coastal line is uh, stoned. Stone and you put stones, and then sea invades, and the stones go away, and then it becomes a big problem for the fisher people. You know? They can't cast the net, they can't bring the uh, boats, and all that. And all that. That's the problem. Crafts and all that is the problem. Uh, uh, this doesn't protect the invasion of the sea at all. You know. They have been traditional sand dunes which is to protect. They have been uh, 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 vegetation which is to pro uh, protect. These are all gone. Traditionally is gone. It's all destroyed by the government itself in many ways. Not by the private sector. But if you really look at uh, where is this one third, where it is not stoned, those are the tourism areas. That is the most interesting thing, you know. Where tourism is... Uh, 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 kind of uh, invading, their uh, uh, Kerala beaches are not stoned, you know, and they are all private beaches, you know, and uh, in Alipi, around 60% uh, 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 of the uh, 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 Alipi's coast is already invaded by the tourism and real estate together, all the coastal areas. Real estate will distribute to the tourism, and that is the scene. You know. So, uh, a similar situation is taking place in North now, North Kerala now. You know. Then now the point is that uh, uh, what kind of tourism? You know, why tourism? Who is God? God is the white man. You know. In fact, this caption called God's own country says. It's white man's own country. You know, it's a different kind of colonialism coming in Kerala. You know, white man can 
look at Kerala as a civil society which will act as servants today. You know, and, and this is uh, after Kapar Beach invasion of Vasco da Gama. Today, it is God's own country, which is coming up as a different uh, colonial, colonial invasion. God's own country is the colonial uh, product. The term is a colonial product. Uh, you look at uh, uh, Kutunad, you know. Uh, the, uh, there are something like uh, 1500 houseboats. Every houseboat produces something like 3 kilos of waste including shit. Now you calculate every day 1500 uh, into 3, 4500 kilos of waste and shit on a, uh, sea, uh, on a lake uh, uh, bed. The whole lake be bed is converted into plastics and uh, shit and other things. It's all destroyed. Completely. People used to take bath. Now they can take bath. It's all they take. Uh, or women, if they take bath, these white men will take photographs. Because I had a very interesting experience in Kutunat. You know, I was traveling in a craft and uh, thing, and then I, I could see people coming up and uh, women were complaining that you, ca you can't take bath because it comes it's like traffic. You know, they take photographs. So each time the houseboat comes, they run because every houseboat is taking photographs when a woman takes bath. You know, and uh, uh, if you want to know the intensity of uh, uh, the houseboats, in one place I got stuck, you know, with my friends because I could not move because there was a traffic jam. You know, you won't believe it. You know, certain places uh, had this uh, uh, vegetation kind of thing floating around in both places, and there was a path. And several houseboats decided several houseboats and we had a traditional craft and uh, uh, we could not move. It was all stuck and there was no traffic policeman in between. <laughs> this is a reality. You know? So uh, out of that uh, 1500 houseboats only uh, a few hundred houseboats are registered. You know? uh, that is it. Now they are introducing um, uh, planes. You know? They can come in planes in this kind of areas. You know? Fisher people are uh, protesting and uh, right into the gods on country, you know, they can travel and, and uh, rest will be servants, you know. And Kerlites would uh, gradually become servants. They are everybody, people have not understood the issue of what God means, what servant means in this uh, world today. And this is a very different kind of colonialism which is taking place. I will uh, come to the other issue. <coughs>